Hey all, it's James here. I was asked to do a walk around of this uh, little guy, six wide Rough Rider trailer. This is the Rough Rider, which is the uh, upgraded off-road trail use trailer. Um, does come with the uh, upgraded off-road tires, the aluminum alloy wheels, uh, full 11 gauge steel skid plates, um, enclosed underbelly uh, to block debris, and it has a, a two by three um, frame that is welded and powder coated for extra protection. This particular model comes with the tray here. It does not have onboard refrigeration or cooler. Uh, I foresee a, a Yeti Tundra 65 in the future. It does have a tongue box. If you look in the tongue box, you'll see that uh, I have the uh, the 30 amp plug in here as well as the uh, the wheel for the existing uh, front tire for the uh, the tow. And then uh, there was a grill in there that uh, was also given to me by the uh, previous owner. This, this unit was used once, um, literally used it camping once, then uh, used it overnight in his garage to see if the air conditioner worked. It does have an onboard 12-volt battery system, 7-pin hookup. As we move around the trailer, it has doors on both sides. You can see the door here. And it does have the upgraded fenders here, the stainless steel fenders. It does have the rear, rear jacks in the back, hand crank. The galley is in the rear back here, and uh, Paul's the white noise because I'll be opening this up so you can see see that. This particular model did not come with the stove, which would be here, but it did come with uh, the sink, and that's just a cold water sink at this time. There is a like five gallon uh, water tank on board. Um, usually you can see that uh, just moves up here and then, and then turns on after you've turned your motor on. It does have two pass-through cabinets as well as uh, electricity to the back, both 12 volt and uh, AC. It does have uh, fluorescent lights. I can see those being changed out to LED and maybe in a different placement at some point in time. It does have the two inch hitch here so you can attach a bicycle rack to it or to the back or maybe another carrier. As we move around the unit you can see that it does have the, uh, the graphics on it that uh, little guy always totes with their um, their little guys. It does have the clearance lights both back and front, which is interesting, as well as a uh, roof rack. Uh, there, there's gonna be some modifications to that roof rack just because there's more stuff I want it to hold. A couple of awnings, maybe a shower stall, uh, basket. As we look inside, you will notice that I, I have the spare tire inside right now because I, I took it off. There's just, there's just not enough room there to run that spare tire with the existing um, front tow hitch. So that's going to have to be modified in order to fit my vehicle. Plus I want to be able to have the uh, back door open all the way. And that's just not an option with it hooked up right now. So there'll be some changes there. As we move back in here, you can see that uh, it has the tire. It does have the Climate Right um, air conditioner unit that attaches to the front. You can see where that attaches right here. And if you look right on the, the front of the trailer here, you can see where they connect. Also, as we look inside the unit, it does have the uh, four cabinets across the inside does have the uh, 12 volt and 110 hookup in here. Uh, the previous owner decided to put a little bit of carpeting in here. There's an oleum underneath there. It does not have the underbelly storage lockers like some of them have. This particular unit has a tri-fold queen size bed. This will fit a king size. Uh, and I'll probably be putting in the uh, king size foam mattress in here uh, for, for better comfort. So we also have the, uh, the, uh, the fan that uh, is, I believe it's a five-speed fan that will both draw air in and push air out, so you can use it either way. Um, the carpeted area here is real nice for putting some of your Velcro attachments. I can see a lot of pouches and stuff going here, maybe even a little shelf down here. It does have the cup holders as well, so you can see the cup holders there. So anyhow, um, I was asked to do the walkthrough. Oh yeah, it does have the uh, it does have the uh, um, stargazer window, so you can set up a look at the stars. Maybe a little romantic. Uh, full lighting in here as well. I can see those being changed out to LED. Does have the uh, exterior lights for the uh, porch lights on both sides. So anyhow, that's uh, that's about it on the on this uh, one time used 2012 little guy six wide. Uh, Rough Rider trailer. I uh, hope you enjoy. Thank you.